All right, folks, we're going to show you here on this 2018 International. We're going to show you how to maneuver through the gauge here with this uh, buttons here so you know what, what's going on here. So this is what we're going to do. So what we're going to do here is we're going to maneuver down through there. So you can see what we got going on. So you have to have your key on. Make sure you got your key on. Then, uh, you know, if, you, if it's fuel economy, shows you what's going on there. But if you're looking for, you know, you just push in this button here and it'll tell you what to do. It'll tell you what, you know, it'll just tell you what you're, you know, this up here, Right up here is uh, your uh, temperature, your local temperature. Then you got your voltmeter over here for your battery. Then out there's the miles. And this right here is the average for trip one fuel. But what we're going to do here is we're going to press over to the right. I'm going to press over to the right again. That's the gauges. And what we're going to do here is we're going to press in for gauge. And it's going to say my gauge options not selected. Go to settings menu to continue. And you go down to vehicle. If you notice you got the arrows right here. Got your arrows right there. So that means you can go up and down. So when you click on vehicle. Then you got your volt meter. Down gives you the old, uh, speedometer. Okay. Then we're going to go here. Go down to engine. Press in. There's no arrows on the side, so it's engine oil temperature. And you go down to transmission. And transmission oil temperature. Then you go down to axle. And front axle temperature. And rear axle temperature. And that's it on that. Then you go back home. Go over to the right. That was the gauges, so we're going to go back over to alerts. And if you notice, there's no alerts, so there, it's all good. You can go down, transmission, you know, any kind of alerts will be in here. You'll see them right here, like one, two, three, four, whatever kind of alerts would be there on your, on your alerts. So you can go over to setup, and this right here is displays off. That's displays on. Then you can go here, display settings. Then you click settings. That says display background. So you can click it. Now that means auto or manual. So if you do manual, you click it in. And then you can just press down, up. Up will give you, you know, your brightness. Or down if you want it low at night time. It's best to have it low as you can. Have all the lights low in the vehicle. That way, when you're looking out the windshield, you can see. So, I keep mine on the low. So, then you go back here. And uh, go back here. And the unit, press in. That's English. If you press it in again, English selected, unit selected. So, English is selected. You go metric, push in. Metric unit selected. So, that's what it is. English. So, go back. Language. You can go language. And language, you got English, uh, uh, French, and Spanish. English, French, and Spanish is the only ones I got on this truck. English language is selected. So then you just press the back button. Press the back button again. Go down to gauge view. And then my gauges. Two, uh, my two gauges. And then you got miles per hour. Then you can go back. My gauges. You got one. Then you can do a reset if you want to reset all your all your gauges.
and we're gonna go over to that setup. Then if you go over again, you're gonna see ACC, which is radar alignment. That's for your radar. If you got radar in front of your truck up there, where it tells you how far you can get to close to the back of another vehicle that you're following, it tells you how far you can get if you have that installed. Um, it'll go to buzzing or buzzer goes off if you get too close and uh, then it's got right here speed limit sign country uh you know usa english canada metric because canada's in metric but uh there's no more errors so we go here i'm gonna go back over here where we're at acc i saw that pto time and fuel um, there's no errors so what we'll do is we'll go back over PTO there's no errors there truck this right here you go all the way over all the way to the last one to the right and it gives you your how much your tandem weighs um, yeah your tandem weighs to the back of the tractor that way when you get under a load you can tell how much you weigh that way whenever you slide your when you slide your tandems this right here is your drives so it lets you know how much your drives weigh when you slide your tandems to be able to put the measurement right and with this being a brand new truck it's, it's gonna be right on it so you know my load I don't have a load on here right now I don't I'm empty so mine's 13,340 uh, pounds without uh, a load you know with just a tractor and and a trailer empty trailer so that there's about it it says see you can go this way if you want to left or right see there so when you when you when you at home this is the home you can just go over to the left and boom there it is push it in there it is there it is right there it's 41 degrees here in minnesota that's where i'm at right now but that's what i want to show you um this up here is your fuel this right here's your death diesel exhaust fluid and these two up here at the top up here are your pressure uh your um uh, how much your two tanks air tanks are the psi how much your air is built up and then the last one over there is the water this one over here is the water and this one over here is your rpms and then your psi for your oil how much pressure your oil is putting out and in the gauges here is your temperature where all your temperature is and um and then this your speedometer here and um i also want to show you two um, well that's all on this one I'm gonna do um, that's all I'm, I'm gonna do on this one here because that's eight minutes about eight and a half minutes into this video but if you want to go back home all you have to do is just press this button right here and it'll take you all the way back home that's the home screen so that's all for this video I hope you enjoyed it and subscribe for more and like.